This is a sponsored video. Just to let you know. Hello and welcome back everyone. Today me and Ben are taking a look at Battlestar Galactica Deadlock. Yeah. This game is out on Steam. We, they sent us some beta before. We played it a little bit. You mm -hmm. liked it. Yeah. Um, we're going to play it now. It's on release. It was trending on Steam. So we thought yeah. even better. Uh, this is the good time Good time to share some of your space boat prowess. Ben is very good at moving ships around. I like spaceships. In space. And also we're huge fans of Battlestar Galactica. It's one of my favourite TV series of all time. And this... This game really does have a lot of that vibe, like the music, mm. that sort of, I don't know, it's like kind of a drummy, like yeah. a, um, it's a funny sort of, and, and the, the names of the people, everyone sounds like a badass in about stuff like that. Everyone's name sounds like a badass. Yeah. Colonel Ty. Agathon. Agathon, yeah, like, <laughs> uh, oh great. So anyway. Starbuck. Starbuck. Oh, she was, she was the un... She was the one that got away. Old everyone, I had such a crush on old Starbucks. <laughs> really? But the, the man version for the original. Oh, of course, yeah, the yeah, cigars. Yeah, that's yeah, what yeah, did yeah, it for yeah, you, yeah. right? <laughs> so no, this is uh, themed after the reboot, isn't uh, it? And um, yeah, shall we hit new campaign? Let's do it. Um, it's going to be a cutscene. Okay, we'll I, try I, to I, do our best to talk over this. Yes. We're playing on Commander Commander Adama. We're not Lieutenant Adama, and we haven't leveled up to Admiral Adama yet. Well, I don't think we. have yeah, we should play on normal. Yeah, because I've only played this for like an hour. Not, we're not, not ready to take on the difficulty, <laughs> yeah. but we're not going to play on easy. We don't play games on we easy. We don't play games on easy. Here we go. Okay, so this is set 30 years before the old TV series, right? Yeah. Well, the, the, the most recent Vergon TV buried series, their yeah. nukes, the leaders of the 12 colonies promised we would never see war of that Vergon. scale again. So the 12 colonies were named... Peace like, would reign in our lifetime. Like, like, um, like variations Zodiac, on Zodiac stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They could not have predicted the Cylon Rebellion less than 30 years later. I don't know. I feel the like you can always predict a uh, robot history. uprising. Are they the Cylons there? Yeah, that's it. They're, they're okay. the, the old school base stars. That isn't lost again within weeks. Right. Um, and these banners are all the different colonies, right? Yeah, that's it. The here they are. They're designing the battle stars. supposed to be our ace in the hole. The largest, most powerful battle stars cancer on. <laughs> there. My God, you gave me cancer on Africa. Africa's the one they talk about a lot. Yeah, it's like the capital planet. Well, that's the was that Battlestar design? Is that a Battlestar? That, there? that is a Battlestar. Yeah. Okay, I thought it looked familiar. Is that um, Battlestar this is, Galactica? This is the Galactica. Yeah, there it is. It says on the side. Oh my God, it does in white. Yeah, it's very hard to see against the white with the, of with the, the brightness. Yeah, 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 with the reflections. The Galactica was Caprica's crowning Caprica glory. got it first, did it? Yeah, so every they're building one Battlestar exactly per colony. colony. Right. And oh, Galactica is the one that belongs it to went Caprica. Missing. Dun, dun, dun. Athena, the fifth ship to be completed. So that's belongs Battlestar to Athena. Yes. We were right. Away from so were there only twelve we Battlestars? Well, at this point, there aren't even twelve yet. They're still building them. They've built like six ah, or seven of them. Okay. And they're gonna. The agreement was, the twelve colonies, like ally together to fight the Cylons. And in return, Pycon's they'll all get their own battle star to help defend themselves. Cylons okay. Among them, Pycon. Our own colonial fleet headquarters. Pycon there was, no chance to was badly bombed. Very badly Scorpia. bombed. Scorpia. Man, I'm really getting into the battle star vibe already here. I, I know, mean, man. I, I watched the... I Command really enjoyed the, the series. Fleet has fallen to Rear Admiral Kane. Rear Kane. Admiral Kane. Our mobile shipyard, Daedalus, <laughs> Daedalus. has become the ad hoc fleet headquarters. So is this our... Yeah, this is our main thing. Um, this We're is... the XO. We're the... Yeah, I guess. So Kane's going to give us orders? She must have better things to do than fight the war. We fight the war. She? She. Oh. Or is it... Yeah, well, maybe. It was opportunity. She... Well, yeah. I mean, Admiral Kane was a woman in in the series. Oh, is it? Do you reckon it's the same one? But this is 30 years before. Maybe, so maybe it's, her, it's dad. her dad or her mum. It is a very nepotistic. It really is, isn't it? It really is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Helena Agathon. Oh, See, Carl Agathon. Yeah, he was uh, like a pilot. Athena attached ASC um, Delta Squadron to Delta Squadron. Um, Delta Squadron. Delta Squadron. Delta Squadron. Delta Squadron. That means we have to he had what I called the boring storyline <laughs> in the first season. Yeah. yeah. Was he a Cylon in the end? Who knows? Oh, tell you. spoiler alert for something that was 12 that years old. A lot of things were... So, so Battlestar Galactica, at the start of Battlestar Galactica, is yeah. a museum ship. It was the only one left. Or was it the only one left? Because they, they found another yeah. Battlestar, didn't they? Well, yeah. So they built a whole load of newer Battlestars that were like iPhone Battlestars that were super high tech. Right. And the Galactica was like the old relic from like 30 the, um, years ago. The iPod. 
Battlestar. <laughs> <laughs> it was the Nokia 6210 right, I see. of Battlestars. Right, it was it was out of date. And then, um, so they were retiring it into a museum ship. And then when the Cylons attacked, they put a virus in that shut down all the high-tech ones. Uh, but because the Galactica didn't wasn't like networked up to the that's what the I watched. Um, I was watching the Netflix show The Mist. Oh yeah. And uh, there's a car in there, and uh, uh, so all the cars are out mm -hmm. apart from this one guy, and he's like, "Yeah, I'm a survivalist. I made this special car with no electronic components, <laughs> just in case. <laughs> Can't hack my car. Just in case of EMPs." <laughs> it's like, so are these the twelve colonies? Here? This is it. Yeah, there's four got stars. Four stars. I didn't realize I don't, had four stars. I don't know if it's four separate solar systems or if it's like a quad, a quadery. Is that what you would call it? A quadery system, like a Quart binary, quaternary, quaternary. Yeah, probably. Ooh, very I nice. would guess because it would be binary, tertiary, quater I think quaternary systems are quite rare. Or is it quint? Quint. Quint is five. Oh but yeah. It binary is. systems are quite common. I think Alpha Centauri, which is the nearest star to us, is oh. actually a binary. I think. Cool. It might be. Even more than that, though, it might be a tertiary. Right. I'm not oh, sure. look, because look, yeah, it's Helios. It must be one system. It it's must Helios be. Alpha, Helios Delta, and Helios is Greek for Sun. Well, the thing about a quaternary system is that because they're because it's like because of the multiple suns going around hmm. each other, it tends to cause very difficult conditions for planets to form. Yeah, and they that. get they get flung out often, and the ones uh, that do rogue planets, the ones that life does evolve on, are tricky because you end up having this situation. There's a book about it called The Three Body Problem, mm. um, which is by a Chinese author, which I read, which is interesting because that's a pl about a planet that that has evolved around three suns, mm. and as a result, they have these periods of immense freezing cold and uh. immense heat on their planet, and it's kind of very, um, it's very, it's almost impossible to predict when mm. it's coming, because um, you just what do you sort of you come in between all the suns and then you're out not near any suns. And yeah, yeah. Ah. So it's really, really... Anyway, this is a, a, a story for another time. We're already getting distracted. That's not a battle star What's story. What's that orb there? I guess it looks like a gas giant. What's that? I can't just, click on it yet because... Is that just another planet? So we have a mission, sorry. Do we, we have a mission. This is us. We're on board the Daedalus. So I, are, the, are the suns attacking right now? Yeah, they are, they're at PyCon, which is here. This is it. That's our mission. They're attacking Pycon. They're attacking Pycon. And we we have some ships ready to fight them off? Yeah, so the Daedalus is like a giant shipyard and it also has a jump drive. Right. So we can jump around the map and do stuff. Okay. But it's the first mission. So, uh, go on and proceed. Just I'll go. keep asking questions. Go for it. Um, oh, there's a battle star. So cool. Get us back, so I got you. And those things, what are those things They're called? They're vipers. Vipers, ah, oh, yes. I remember. I love the viper, the look of the viper. It's cool, isn't it? Oh, it's such an iconic design. It so, looks a lot like an X-Wing. So this is the Daedalus shipyard. So look, here we go. This is the Athena under construction. Oh, that's Battlestar Athena. Yeah, in okay. our shipyard. And we've detached from the shipyard to like get into the fight. And what are we fighting? And we're, we a don't know, manticore. we've got unknown contact. Oh. And then okay. these are our manticores. These are much smaller than, than battle stars. Right. Uh, they're like little missile boats. So it says cool. eliminate the Cylon scout corvettes. I'm guessing that is what we're... So they're sending in some scouts, are they? To yeah. See, to, just, to, 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 to assess our defensive capabilities. Looks like it. They're checking out what's defending Pycon. So, so it's us launching squadrons. How did this happen? Like, how did? So, it's your classic Terminator robot uprising scenario. Okay. They they built a slave <laughs> slave army of robots to do all their dirty work. Right. And then they thought, you know what would make these slave robots more efficient, is if they could think for themselves. Right. Um, <laughs> then they be able to, you know, do you know? Just, then yeah. they could clean our toilets so much better. Exactly, they come up with new and innovative ideas <laughs> to clean the toilets. Yeah. They evolve. That's exactly um, what we want to do. Unfortunately, it led to the classic, you know, kill all humans scenario. Problem. Right. So we got two man's cause, and that, yep. and we're, we're, and we're we up against this them in a nemesis class. Cylon ship, it's a little scout corvette. So, so we can position them in 3D space and we can pivot them and turn them. It's a bit, it's a yeah. bit, it's a bit cool. So the important strategy here is ships have got armor ratings on all their sides. Okay. So you want to focus one side down because if you're got a lot of front armor, if you hit them in the front and then you go around the side, you're not actually hurting the hull, you're just hitting armor. So you right. Need to fo focus your fire. I, I wouldn't have thought that front oh, armor would have been. So, 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 oh, do these ships have guns on the fronts? Yeah, so our guys have oh, got I see. little turrets. Their They're main not... gun is their guided missiles, which we'll do in a minute. But they've I'm got thinking these... of boat combat, which is mostly side guns. On the broadsides. Yeah, because you can fit a lot on. Yeah, like, you know. that's why it's called the broadside. Yeah. Oh, I see, as opposed to the sharp end. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's <laughs> otherwise no. So um, I'm getting both these guys to shoot him with, them, with their guns, their little guns. 
and I'm going to fire missiles. These have got like a four turn cooldown. Okay. So you can't use them all the time. I'm going to open up. Way. Are they bomb. are they heat seeking? They are. They're okay. guided. So do you have to to so you've targeted that guy with both of your guys. Mm -hmm. Did you have to do that, or do they fire? I think they fire automatically, don't they? Uh, well, I, I told well, they, them. I they told were them doing that before. Who to do it? Oh yeah, they do. But I like to tell them in case they like get distracted by something else. Are you slowing this guy I'm right down? I'm slowing him right down because we've only got guns on the front, and I don't want to fly past him. Okay. If you see what I mean. So if I fly slow right down. Do you get a G-Force penalty for doing a big maneuver, or are we flying massive missile boats here where it doesn't really matter? It doesn't really matter. The downside is you, know, you have to move a minimum. You can't stop. Okay. Uh, you have to move a bit. Um, but my thinking is he'll fly to about here, and then he'll be right in the kill zone of our main guns. Oh, my God. See, and this then... is literally... So say we are. So there's a fantasy flight board game called Star Wars Armada, which is pretty much this, right, but for, but for, for Star, Star Wars. Wars. Yeah. It's big, big ships fighting each other on a board. Um, and... It, it feels like that's something you have a very good idea of. Yeah, I play a lot. you were the national champion. <laughs> uh, European champion. European champion. <laughs> I'll have you know. Holy crap. Here we go. My bam, bad. bam, bam, bam. Um, oh, look. No, I misjudged it. Well, he's got no so others. They've got, got reinforcements. Yeah. Andreas. Oh, <laughs> yeah. do you, so they say loads of, there's loads of Battlestar Galactica. Andreas is like Battlestar Radar. Yeah, Andreas. And they have... Um, it's Nemesis too. They have this whole this whole like crew of people manning Dreadus, don't they? It's kind of a little yeah. bit it's done a little bit like a submarine or something. It is, it does feel like a it submarine feels quite, on the bridge of battles. Quite stars, modern it? in a so sense. Say we are. Not not modern but not modern. It feels like realistically uh, approachable kind of and so they have this you know, we got a new contact on Dreadus coming in. Yeah. It's like what is it? Identify it and it's like and then they 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 say and then they're like, instead of radiological alarm when like nukes are about to be launched at them. Yeah, yeah, their yeah. Okay, here we go. Missiles incoming. Oh, here they go. Because the Battlestar Returning does have fire. nukes, doesn't it? Actually. Yeah, it's got like a couple. Saves for emergencies. Bam. Well, oh, look, look! Here come our Vipers to shoot down his missiles. Oh, oh they got there too late. They're tiny. They are diddy, aren't they? They are absolutely. Mi I didn't realize how big our Manticores were. So the Manticores okay, are pretty big vipers. capital ships by the looks, these things. They're pretty meaty, yeah. So we've taken a, a string of, hang on, get this camera right. A string of missile hits onto our rear. Right, um, okay, so we need to pivot ourselves. Oh, look, this one's called the Lancer. Oh yeah, 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 and, and Perseus. The it's and on the, the Perseus, up there, yeah, yeah. It's oh, up cool. on the left. Look, so you can see our tiny little uh, turret down there. Oh, I That's see, our little see front that's our gun. front gun. Is there a back gun as well, or is it yeah, just a front gun? Yeah, I think gun? we've got a back gun too. Oh yeah, there, there it is. Two back guns. Oh yeah, they look smaller though. Do, do, does that actually does that actually affect? Is there anyone to see what our firepower is from each angle? Uh, we probably can, can't we? Let's have a look. Oh yeah, so it looks like it's back and front, similar probably. I, I would assume. Yeah, sounds about right. Okay, so um, what's the situation here? So this guy is not under fire. He's going to go full attack. It did on say that actually. Guy. It did say rear light turret there. Go ahead to see that. So again. Sorry. Oh, well, yeah, I'm yeah, of course. Interested. Yeah, let's find what our ships do. And in fact, while I'm here. I'm going to switch him to full attack mode. I'm going to divert oh all goodness, power to weapons. It's already getting complicated. But I suppose what this is this this means that you're not putting any. It means I'm like not repairing not as hard, and, and I'm not dodging and stuff. But I get I get more guns, more okay. power to guns. Fire control. I suppose control if, if he's not targeting you, or if you're not, if you're not, if you're like facing directly at him, you, you want to go full guns updated. blazing. Exactly. I don't mind taking a bit of a navigation and engineering penalty. Okay. And this, then what's this boost thrusters? What's that do? Uh, that I can just do like a, a boost. A one faster. off. A one off. Or is that gonna is that gonna damage us? Is that I'm gonna not cause sure, like, to problems? be totally honest. Um boost thrusters. Boop. Oh we can see. Oh, oh look it, us, okay, uh, so it increases my movement but decreases my turning. And it reduces your fire control and uh, tech okay. and armory, pretty much everything. Right, let's not do that then. We don't need it. But um, yeah, you're already taking like twenty percent off those. Can so I just check the um fire arcs understood. again? Understood. Yeah, sorry. Uh, that's alright. So like if you mouse over that front fire arc. Oh, where where did I see that before? Oh, there ah, front, there we go. Front Corvette cannon. Rate of fire very high, accuracy high, damage one. one. Uh, so the rear light turret uh, is actually a lot weaker. But there's two of them. Uh, well, we saw two. I don't know if I don't know if actually it shows. I don't. Think, I don't think there are actually two. I think it's, that's just a graphical thing. I don't think maybe. I don't think there are two. We looked. Mm, okay, so it's not as good. That's good to know. Maybe it's they're near as good actually. Yeah. So we really less wanna... accurate, less damage. Cool, okay, so we need to keep them in our front. This guy's getting hammered, so I think we'll switch um, him to defensive. Right. Emergency cruiser on standby. And we'll um, give him a, a pull away from him. 
Okay. And I'll oh. turn around, so when I miss... Next turn, I'll get to here, and our missiles will be off cooldown, and we can launch another volume of missiles. Okay, because he's going that way. You see, I would have always... I would have probably gone around to the left, but I'm letting you do all the controlling of this, because <laughs> you do... Th I'm not even going to say anything. And I'm going to leave one squadron to defend him, and one squadron to attack. Understood. So... How do you know which one's defending? Oh, because I ordered them both to defend him ah, last turn. okay. Which is why they came over to try and shoot the missiles, but they were I see, is that late. what that symbol is there, that defense symbol? Yeah. Okay. Here we go. So you sent the Vipers to defend. So there we go. One's escorting him, and the other one's moving into attack. Well, he hasn't got missiles yet. Has he no, he's taken him a couple of turns to cool down on his missiles. Okay, he's cruising around. Hmm. Okay, his rear is the one that's been the most damaged. This guy hasn't taken a huge amount of damage. He's is, slow is he quite right low? Here. Yeah, he is pretty sky. low down. We should go down too. We can't, go, we can't go that low though, can we? No, there's a limit to like how low you can go. I guess because we've lost engine power how by upgrading our guns. can you go? <laughs> how low can you go? One turn left on missile cooldown. Okay, um, this is... I'm already interested in this a lot. This... What are you going to do? You're going to shoot him with the back guns? Yeah, I guess we just keep... Didn't this... Keep did we already take us. some damage to our yes, back commander. armor? Yeah, but uh, if we stay in front yeah. of him... That's true. Let, let's let him hit our side, because our ray gun's rubbish anyway. We'll let him hit our side. We should survive for longer. Okay. All right. Because in the campaign, you've got to pay to rebuild ships. We don't, we don't really want to take right. losses if we don't have well, to. Well, it's a big... Do we have to pay to repair, repair damage? I don't think so. I might be wrong. Okay. I can't remember. Um, right, here we go. Missiles are ready. Fire. Missile tubes prepped. Oh my god, you're firing all missiles. All missiles. Fire all weapons. You're Maximum not, you're not waiting power. at all on that. You're just getting them out. Just go for Can it. you ram? What happens if you hit him? Um, oh, you both take massive damage. Okay, well, we probably don't want to do no, that. No, I don't. That's like a desperate move. Like in the series. Ah. Uh, do you remember when the um, the Pegasus like uh, flies into a base star to like protect Galactica? It's brutal. Oh. It, it's like, yeah, everything dies. It's what is the Pegasus? Is that a, That's like the second uh, battle star that they find. Right. And it's a newer model. Yeah, that's it. Oh, okay. Is that the one with the female admiral? Yeah, yeah, that's Admiral Kane. Yeah, I thought so. It's all coming back. It's a long time. It's been ago. a while since it you've has, seen well, it. Well, I didn't realise it was twelve years ago. Or something like that. I we think. were talking about the Battlestar Galactic board game, actually, lately, weren't we? Yeah, yeah. I, I, it's actually one of my favourite board games. Not only because it's about a great series. But it's, because it's, it's just such a good game. It's like TCT, the board game, basically. It's very complicated. Oh, look, though. here we go. Look, they're shooting down missiles. Oh, they got one. Wow, they were pretty bad at that. I thought they were going to kill more than that. Are they still assigned that. to defence? Yeah, they're on defence. They Man, that's, that is disappointing. It is a bit disappointing, isn't it? Okay, this guy's running away. Let's give him... Starbuck is not in one of those vibes. No, no that must be like a hot dog day, I'm sure. in there. Hot dog. <laughs> yeah, he was the yeah. worst. <laughs> <laughs> Forgot about him. <laughs> So there were the other things as well, there were the, the Vipers and the sort of transports. Yeah, what were they called? Uh, raptors. Raptors, yeah. This guy's like dead in the water. Yeah, he's gone. I think our ship's really greatly outclassed those two scouts. Yeah, it's like the first mission. All hostile contacts are down. Yeah. The feet of the battle if the commander so the nice thing you can do, we're not going to do this for every battle, but I just want to show you the, um, the replay. Because it basically just plays it all out as one like little oh, movie. Right, oh cool, like space battles. Yeah, so you can just like... So and it does the, the Battlestar Galactica so like camera and stuff. Like, here come oh. the Vipers. What? <laughs> See what I mean about the sort of drum? Like, yeah, yeah, the, the Bear McCready soundtrack. God, this guy really just got schooled, didn't he? We got a yeah, lot of straight. He got the full. Oh, I love how that appeared in the Battlestar Galactica <laughs> yeah. way as well. That was really nice. And in come the Vipers. Ah, oh, but they're too late. That guy, that guy, we really caught him. In yeah, the we just exact, just annihilated. We detected that. Dreadus contact where he was coming, and we just had an ambush prepared. Exactly, ready and waiting. The and other guy, like, we didn't see him coming, so we had a little bit more manoeuvring to do, and he almost got us, but but he was dead in the water. Yeah, well, he was course. outnumbered two to one at that point. And then the Viper started strafing him and backing off, zipping around. Ah, uh, it does look pretty cool, actually, doesn't it? The replays. I seem to remember like there were a lot of the the the, the Cylons were a lot. Um, they had a lot more fight. They didn't have any fighters here. They just had two, two kind scouts. Of scouts. Yeah, but when they in the in the show when they launch fighters, they just launch like oh, thousands. Oh my of god, fighters, it's nuts, they, like, isn't it? Like, it's so it's just. I never really got how 
like ten vipers were supposed to fight thousands of those guys. <laughs> yeah. But I guess they're always running away. They just had to survive for like four minutes to charge up the jump drives and then then get out. God, the Lancer took a whole big broadside of missiles. There. Yeah, the vipers did that. not do their jobs. Holy shit, they were all on reprimand. That was that was a disaster. Then we pick up all that scrap. And that's it. oh, the vipers like fly out to space. They nice. look so cool, don't they? Okay, I really enjoyed that. So that's one part of the Commander. game. Yeah, and now this is the strategic view. Up here we've got each of the 12 colonies. It's a bit okay. like XCOM, they're like the funding council. Okay. And we've got to keep them all happy. Right. The red ones are not happy, the orange ones are shaking. Right. Whoa, 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 none of them are happy to begin with. No, no, they, well, they, they just got jumped. We've lost a battle star, and Pycon is under attack. Right. They're not happy with us. Well, I mean, uh, comparatively, compared to what we what they went through in the future, <laughs> yeah. all of the planets got destroyed. Like, humanity only had, like, a thousand people left, didn't it? Is that what you want to tell them? <laughs> well, quit, you... quit your whining, because in the future you'll all be nuked. In 30 years' time? <laughs> just saying. Yeah, there was only, like, a, a few hundred left at the end or it something like that. It was pretty bad, wasn't it? So we got Geminon. I mean, there's Unstable. two billion people on Geminon. And they're all unhappy. Oh, they so are. they're giving us three Tilium at the moment. Tilium's like um, our resource. Okay. Like fuel. Is that how it's pronounced? Tilium? Yeah. Okay. We use it for jump. It's like jump drive fuel. Okay. Cool. Um, what about these guys? We've got Pycon, also unhappy. Queenstown is the capital. Uh, who's this? Caprica. Oh. oh, look at that. 36. It's by far the most important. Steadfast. We cannot afford to lose Caprica. All, right, because that will be lost. Wow, that's 36 compared to like, what the other one giving us? Like two and four. <laughs> yeah, six for those guys. And like eight for Tauron. Um, okay. What else we got? Leonis. Leonis. God, they, I don't think they ever talked about Leonis in the show. I don't recognize it. Yeah, uh, I, I say Leo, but it might be Lionis. That's true. Leonis. Vergon gives us nine. Vergon. Oh, here we go. Libran. Libran gives that's us quite 30. A lot. Okay, that's important too. We can't lose, can't lose them. They're all right. Um, Sagittarion. I one. These. Fucking one. I mean, that's uh, <laughs> that's 30 times less. <laughs> Get like if there's ever a choice between saving Sagittarion and any other planet, they're very stingy with their Tilium. <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe they just don't have very big reserves. They might just it. be like a, I think it's like a little poor farming planet or something like that. Mm. Um, oh look, there's mm. bonuses for holding each one. Daedalus bonuses. What is that? Then? It's a different one for each. I think like there's a perk it for is keeping them all happy. It is a different one for each. Oh, so this one gives us offer better officers and ships. T -t 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 officer promotion costs. It's my nice attempt. You can level costs. up your admirals in this, and they get different skills. Okay. Um, aerial on So the four. state of the galaxy is pretty precarious. Yeah. No one's in the. It's weird to see no one's in the green. Um, well, yeah, it's hard. You can't keep keep people happy. But they're it. orange and they're concerned. Some of the other orange ones are steadfast. So I wonder if that's different. Oh yeah, that's true. They're concerned. Concerned. So Whereas they're like not as good as like Caprica, which is steadfast. steadfast. You see what I mean? Yeah. Maybe there's that... different stages to Yeah, it. okay. Um so, so we've got Quorum twelve out of six, what does that mean? Um, that how many That's how many are happy. That's how many we've got. One, two, three, four, five. Oh no, there's four four unhappy. I'm not sure. There's okay. twelve, I know that. There's None of them have been blown up yet. Uh, we can build ships. At the moment we've only got designs for the Manticore. Okay. We've already seen. Um, um, we can build them for 120 bucks, and they take two turns. Or okay. we can do a one-turn rush, and it'll cost us 500. Well, we can't afford that anyway. No. So maybe we should just put a bill queue in for one of these boys. Uh, let's just see what okay. else we've got going on. Oh, what? We can do other things instead. Okay. Yeah. Um, so this we're getting current that much a turn. Okay. We get to, well. We can build two a turn. No. Well. Yeah. Pretty yeah. Much. We can build two a turn, but we can. Only, uh, but but it, they take two turns to build. And moving costs us money. Oh, of course. Like we have to jump. Because we have to jump. Uh, officers. We can't have an officer yet. But they're very good when we can. Um, and blueprints. We haven't got any new blueprints. So this is where we research new ships. Oh, designs. there's two battle styles in the blueprints. Yeah, two different kinds. And there's like a load of different capital the battle ships. Battle style Special ammo. 1.0. <laughs> yeah. The museum version and the, the good. The, the iPod version. The iPhone. Um, the iPhone 7. So this is a list of our fleets. S. That's <laughs> <laughs> uh, our mission. No silence detected. So in a minute, we're going to have silence jumping all over the place. And we have to like. It's kind of like XCOM. You have to pick and choose where you're going to fight. Right. Okay. Um, but for now, we're early game, so we just got to rush over to PyCon to save the day. Okay. Is that? Um, I see. Is this? A, is this like? Is this like a semi sort of tutorial mission type situation? Yeah, it's like limiting. So we had to end turn because that our first turn was. So often that. XCOM starts with a few tutorial missions that yeah. um, is useful to 
It's a good idea. It makes the game a little bit easier. Yeah, it's a bit overwhelming when there's like 20 things going on and you don't know what's important. Yeah. So we're I just going to jump over here, and then we're going to do. How much did that cost? Does it say? Oh, didn't I, say. I guess we'll find out yeah. after. All right. I guess it'll say on our like expenses, like, yep, you had to fill up at the uh, <laughs> the gas station. Keep your receipts, because um, then we can sort of deploy, set up our deployment. We can put the station right back. Oh, of course, we've got our... the station. Station comes with us. That's yeah. cool. Not always, because eventually you have multiple fleets, and the station's only with one of your fleets. Oh. Uh, so later on, you just have like smaller fleets. Um, and supply cost, you have to pay money to deploy ships, except where you have the station and then you don't pay any money. Right, okay. So maintaining large fleets away from the station is expensive. Okay. Um, the strategic layer is quite deep. Prepare to jump in three, two, But that will become unlocked one. as we go. Get ready to jump. Bam. Oh, that is how they appear in... Jump complete. In Battlestar. Greatest contacts bearing 017, Karam 021. Pycon and the rest I love of the that 12 random <laughs> space... <are watching laughs> the random space word. Bodega talk. Some yeah. Colonial fleet fail. <laughs> Uh, okay. Sure we succeed. You got it. Is this the no first pressure, chance? Sir. No pressure at so we got those two corvettes, and we're like, this is, this is, we really need to. Yeah, they've got PyCon blockaded. There's three enemy contacts up ahead. Right. Um, launch fighters. Launch fighters. Yes, sir. <laughs> Piper's deployed. <laughs> uh, what have we got? So um, does our shipyard have guns too? Oh, look, we've got the Athena. It's out of. Um, Oh, we it's got out the of construction. Star. The Battlestar Athena. It's here. We're here to deliver it to PyCon. 